Today is the story of Gordy and the glorious gardener position. Now, in Gordy's community, there was an absolutely beautiful garden in the middle of the little town. It was tended to by an old man. He knew how to make things grow like magic. He did the best things for the garden. He always knew how to make plants grow, flowers grow, vegetables grow. And the garden in the middle of the village was full of flowers that could be eaten in tea and on food, vegetables that could be eaten, and shrubs, and other things that grew berries and different things that you could also eat. Nobody knew how the gardener was so gifted at making all these different things grow, because when they tried to grow them in their own gardens, some of them did okay and some of them didn't do very well. One day, and his could just get everything he wanted. One day the gardener told the whole village, he said, I'm getting old. I need someone to replace me. So I will teach one child from this village for several years all my tricks and all the ways that I make the plants grow. However, this is going to be a contest. Whichever child makes, um, plants the flower that I give them the seed to and has the best flower, the biggest and best flower, to that child, I'll let them learn with me. Now, there were hundreds of children in the village. All of them lined up to get one of the farmers, uh, not the farmers, the gardeners, seeds. The gardener had a big bag of seeds. All of them were the same seed, and they didn't know what kind of flower would grow. Gordy lined up as well. And to each child, he said, May the best man win, or woman win. And he would give them one seed. He said, Look after this seed. This is the only one you get. Each child got one seed. Every child took it home and planted it in the pot. Gordy was so excited. He planted it in the pot and the gardener said, next year, at this time, summer, all of you can bring your flowers in and then I will pick the child that's going to spend the next few years with me learning all my gardening tips and tricks. Well, Gordy planted his seed in a nice little pot and watered it and put it in a sunny windowsill because it was very cold outside and waited and waited, but nothing happened. The seed didn't do anything. Hmm, this is strange, said Gordy. I wonder if it needs a bigger pot with better soil. So several months had passed and Gordy took out a bigger pot and put in some better soil. Beautiful, nice, rich soil. But still, the seed didn't do anything. Maybe it's happy with that. Maybe I'm growing an apple tree, Gordy. Gordy didn't know what was wrong. And he went to see some of the other children's pots. They all had flowers in them. Huh said Gordy. I don't know what's wrong with my seed. Maybe I've gotten a bad seed. Can't you grow a flower? said one of his friends. Of course I can. My garden is full of flowers. But the seed that I got doesn't seem to be doing anything. Look at mine, said his friend. He had a nice tall flower in his pot. Gordy was so disappointed because he really loved gardening and he wanted to learn more. When it came time to take for all the children to take their flowers to the gardener, Gordy didn't want to go because his pot was empty and the seed didn't do anything. Daddy said, you've done your best and that's what counts. You should still go with your pot just the same. Maybe it's an apple seed. Gordy was disappointed, but he decided Daddy was right. He did do his best and that's all that he could do. So he took his pot, his empty pot, 
and went and lined up with the rest of the children. There were all different types of flowers, and Gordy thought that was a little bit strange. There were all different types of flowers because he was pretty sure he remembered only seeing one type of seed. But he didn't take much notice. He was so disappointed in his empty pot. There were tons of different types of flowers and all the children were so excited each one was thinking theirs was the best. They all lined up and the gardener went past each one of them. Was he wasn't very happy because that means the seed didn't grow. It didn't grow, mm -hmm. so we emptied all the soil. No, the soil was there still. It was a, seeds, it was just so didn't have a flower. Didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. it must be an apple. So all the children lined up, and the gardener went past. He didn't look very happy. He was just looking at each pot without smiling and without saying a word. And then he spotted Gordy, Gordy near the back with an empty pot. What's this? said the gardener. What have you done? Gordy was so scared he thought he would be punished. He said, well, I tried to do everything that I normally do with all my other flower seeds and I, I don't, it just didn't work. This didn't grow, but I did my best. The gardener grinned from ear to ear. He said, I have found a new gardener to work with me. Gordy it is. All the rest of the children were shocked. Why did Gordy get picked? His pot didn't have any flower in it. It must be an apple tree. The gardener announced out loud, Last summer, when I gave you all seeds, I cooked them all first. Do you know what that means? Cooked them all. Yes, he cooked them and dried them out. That means a cooked seed will never, ever grow. The gardener was so pleased because he said, Gordy, you chose to tell me the truth. You chose to tell me the truth that nothing grew in your pot and you, even though you were disappointed, you came anyway. That shows perseverance and that shows integrity. Integrity is when you tell the truth, even when something doesn't look like it should be right. All the rest of the children had done a sneaky thing. Their seeds didn't grow either. But they wanted it so bad, they all did a sneaky, dishonest thing, and they put new other seeds in their pots to grow. And that's why there were so many different types of flowers, because they had all just chosen their own thing instead of following the rules of the game. But Gordy was the one that won the game, and he was chosen to learn all the tricks and secrets with the farmer. It was Gordy's happiest day. And Daddy and Mommy and Melody, his little baby sister, were very happy about what he did as well. And that was the end.